Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada. I hope everybody is having a good weekend and I hope those of you who are sitting IELTS exams this weekend are going to have great luck on the test and uh, do well. Uh, students, in this class we are looking at IELTS speaking part two. We're looking at a cue card and uh, we will be focusing to get that band nine score, of course, that perfect mark. Um, and this cue card topic will be about exercises for the brain. So ways to improve thinking. Uh, the lesson plan is to uh, talk a little bit of strategy look at the cue card, go through the steps of uh, doing part two in your IELTS speaking section, practice with an answer, and then give students an opportunity to also answer this question using our chat interface. So we will be looking for volunteers to answer this cue card as well. And then I will give some feedback and some band score estimates so you know what a band six seven eight nine sounds like this is a members chat class uh, everybody is welcome to watch of course and it's a good idea to watch because after this class in just less than two hours we will have an all chat class that will be speaking part three uh, welcome amrit hi puja yadav rashika amra and joe uh, good to see many members joining up in the class and uh, again members uh, make sure to volunteer and uh, answer questions and be active participate this is meant to be interactive this class um, this is brought to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS visit us there uh, for the general IELTS visit us at gieltshelp.com both of our websites have a lot of opportunities for practicing your speaking as well as for other sections of the exam. In fact, uh, we just released a new video a couple hours ago, an HD video, uh, which is a listening section video. Did anybody see that, members? Did any of you check out the, um, the listening um, test video that we uh, put out on our YouTube channel maybe while you were waiting? We started a couple minutes late today, so. Maybe you had a chance to take a look at that while you were waiting for the live class uh, to uh, start up. Um, hopefully some of you checked it out. If you didn't check it out, definitely uh, check it out at some point. It's really good practice, okay? Um, and again, in that uh, video, you'll see a discount code, a special discount code that we're promoting. Uh, the discount code is AUDIO9, um, and that will give you a 20% discount off the regular price of our course. Uh, the cost of the course changes depending on which country you're in. In many countries, it's just $25. So if you use the 20% discount, it's only 20 bucks US to get access to all of those materials, videos, practice exams, and lots more. Uh, general IELTS looks like this. Again, it's a green button. Just uh, click this big red button uh, right there above my head to join the premium package and then start using the lesson plan and begin learning each day. Um, if uh, you'd like to get our apps, which is a good idea as well, Academic IELTS Help, General IELTS Help from your app stores, uh, the apps will link to the websites so you can use the app or the website on your phone, on the go or at home. Um, you can follow us on Instagram, IELTS underscore AE Help and G IELTS Help. We put lots of great uh, tips, tricks, vocabulary up on um, Instagram as well. And then, of course, if you still have questions, just send me an email to adrian at aehelp.com and I will be glad to assist you on whatever inquiry you may have. Um, so, students, uh, yeah, lots of classes. Okay, so today, April 30th, speaking part two right now for members, but then shortly thereafter, uh, we'll have speaking part three where everybody will be able to join in on the fun in the chat, of course. And then um, 
as usual, no class uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We will be releasing some new videos during that time and then um, we'll have live class again on the 5th of uh, May, Cinco de Mayo, for those of you who are celebrating that. Um, big celebration over in Mexico, of course. Um, and Cinco de Mayo, uh, we'll start with speaking part one. That's May 5th, okay? All right, uh, let's get into today's cue card. So IELTS speaking part two. Here we go, everyone. Um, IELTS speaking part two. It's a very interesting part of the speaking interview. Okay. Uh, so IELTS speaking part two, uh, the examiner will present you with some questions. Um, there's different ways depending on the time and the exam center but usually it's in a booklet like they put a like a little book or a booklet in front of you and then they have the questions on that sometimes it's a card but basically the uh, the questions always have kind of the same style so what you're looking at on the screen here has a topic sentence and then four or five uh, related questions and then a little bit of instructions telling you that you have one minute to prepare and you have um, one to two minutes uh, to speak. So that's kind of how that goes every single time, no matter whether you're looking at a card or a booklet. Uh, and then you have some note paper, so they prepare the note paper. The note paper will be there uh, for you, and you take your pen pencil with you into the room, and this is when you get to use it uh, for taking notes, okay? All right. Um, so, uh, you're in your IELTS speaking interview and hopefully by the time you get to part two you're feeling fairly comfortable and you're not super nervous anymore because speaking part two is quite difficult if you're very anxious or very stressed, okay? So make sure to do your best um, to calm down by the time you get to uh, the cue card. Okay, they call it the cue card because sometimes it's a card that they give you, but sometimes it's just, a, again, a booklet that they show you. So don't really expect to see a card. It could be a booklet. Because of COVID or since COVID too, they ask you not to touch the booklet. So I don't, can't remember if they did that before then, but I don't know. Okay, anyway, so the way this goes is basically after the examiner has asked you some general questions about a topic like... Um, it could be your hobbies, uh, it could be about where you live, your hometown, um, it could be about the parks in your city, um, so, or about your um, outdoor uh, activities. Uh, so once you're finished answering those kind of shorter, faster questions at the beginning, it's about three, four minutes, uh, the examiner will say, okay, well that is the end of part one, now we will continue with part two for part two. I will show you some questions. Please do not touch the booklet. You will have one minute to prepare your answers. Take notes in the one minute if you wish, and then you will have one to two minutes to speak. I will tell you when to start, when to stop. Talk about an exercise you have thought of doing to help you think better. Okay, it's probably it's a good good topic for today. Uh, in general um, and then they'll say okay your one minute preparation time begins now so whatever that cue card is okay whatever the question on that cue card don't freak out don't panic you have the answers in your head your job is to find the answers in your head put them together and create a clear coherent structured presentation that's about two minutes long for the examiner on that specific topic, okay? All right, um, so uh, calm down, take a deep breath. If you feel stressed, just breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, you're good to go, okay? There's some very clear steps. Um, step one, is read the card very carefully twice 
Okay, it's a good idea to look at it twice. Uh, first time slower, second time maybe a little bit faster, but definitely twice. So let's do that. Let's um, let's take a look at all of the questions on this card. So uh, talk about an exercise you have thought of doing to help you think better. Mm, okay. So what is the activity or exercise? Um, where did this idea come from? Okay. How can this practice help you improve thinking? What do or did you need to make this idea a reality? You will have one to two minutes to talk about this topic. You will have one minute to prepare. Okay, and again, if nothing else, definitely read this topic um, statement or sentence twice, okay? So talk about an exercise that you have thought of doing to help you think better. So it means you might not be doing it yet, but you've definitely thought about doing it, okay? All right. So um, Rashika says that here, uh, the category, and this is step number two, okay? is to identify the category and the tense or the time of the cue card, okay? Now, if you think about step one, step one should really only take you about maybe 10 seconds, okay? Um, it shouldn't take you more time than that to read it twice. Okay, you're silently doing this. You don't need. You can, I mean, you can. Um, you can read the topic sentence aloud, even. So you can. The, the examiner is not going to think it's strange or anything. But uh, you, you should be able to do the, do that quick. So that's going to be ten seconds. Um, identifying the category in the tense should be really quick. As long as you practice this, as long as you are prepared for your IELTS exam, this will only take you three seconds. Okay. Because what we're dealing with here with is a one minute uh, preparation time, okay? So you have to kind of do all of these steps in that one minute preparation time that the um, IELTS exam gives you. I almost said the examiner, but it's not really the examiner. The examiner is just following instructions, okay? Um, Rashika, I see that you retracted your message that it's an idea, but um, you're, you were right about that. It is an idea. Um, you're dealing with an idea here. Absolutely. I agree. Um, you are allowed to take water with you into your um, speaking exam. Uh, you probably just saw me drink some water there. It's a good idea. Drinking a sip of water can help you to calm down as well and it will help you to speak a bit better also. So that's a good idea, okay? All right, um, so this is very quick. You read the card, you identify the category. What do I mean by identify the category? Well, basically, there are five possible categories. Uh, cue cards, you cannot guess what's going to be on your cue card, okay? That's just silly, all right? You can't do it, all right? So it's either going to be a person, a place, an object, an idea, or some event. Okay, it's going to be one of these, um, one of these kind of five different categories. Okay, so the cue card will ask you to talk about your best friend. It's a person. Will ask you to talk about a place, um, a famous tourist attraction in your city. Uh, will ask you to talk about an object, possibly. Um, so a gift you got for a special day, um, or will ask you to talk about an idea like this one, right? This is an idea. So talk about an idea you had uh, to help you think better. So this is the idea. Or it could be an event, like uh, they might ask you to talk about um, a special day in your life that you clearly remember. So it's going to be one of these five. Very, very good chance because basically all information falls into more or less one of these five categories. And each of these categories has um, some specific points, some important points that you need to consider, that you need to explain when you are talking to a stranger, like an IELTS examiner, to give clear information. So, 
Um, what is that? So when you're talking about an idea, members, I'm looking at you right now. You can see the, the chat there. Um, then um, what kind of um, what kind of an idea, um, so what kind of steps, I should say, or what kind of points do we need to consider uh, to um, speak clearly about an idea? Okay, can anybody tell me? So, you, of course you have to tell your listener what the idea is, right? So you have to describe it. All right. Um, you have to explain the time. So when did you have this idea, right? And don't just think of questions like what and when, but think about the actual statements like describe the idea, give the time of the idea, give the uh, reason. Yeah, so the origin, Rashika, uh, would be the time and the reason, would be the origin of the idea. Okay, it's better to think about it as time and reason. So when did you have it? Okay, um, you have to think about the requirements. Uh, requirements means the needs, right? So if you're talking about, for example, a business idea, uh, what does your business idea need? Do you need um, employees, staff? Do you need uh, an investment to get it going? Uh, do you need a prime location uh, if you're opening up a restaurant? So what do you need for that idea uh, to become reality? Think about that, okay? All right, it's very important, okay? Um, and then, um, of course, uh, one more point is the outcomes and improvements, two points. So if you actually did this idea, so if it's something that you've done, then um, how did it work? Like what happened? If you opened the restaurant, what happened? Did it get really popular? People love it. Um, and how can you improve it, right? Like what can you do to make it even better yeah and Rashika says basically the results right so outcomes uh, results same idea they're synonyms yeah so what's the result of that idea okay as long as you go through these okay so as long as you go through these points when you're talking about an idea in this order so first talk about describing the idea um, then the time of the idea then the reason for the idea, then the requirement uh, for the idea, then the results and finally improvements if there are any. Uh, if you go through it in this way, basically if you say like two sentences uh, for each, um, you've got about 10 nice connected sentences, you've basically done a good job on um, giving this uh, presentation, right? Aside from that, of course, you have to make sure that you're answering all the questions on the cue card. So make sure to answer all questions on the cue card. Okay, it's very important. The IELTS examiner is looking for that. Okay, all right. So um, that's your step one and step two. So step one, read the card. Step two, identify that it's a category, it's a tense. Again, remember students, I said this takes only three seconds. So when you know that you're talking about an idea and you know what is required to talk about an idea, you don't actually have to think about it. It's in your head. You, you know it. So it only takes you three seconds to do that. So you've only used about 13 seconds of that one minute uh, preparation time. Okay. And then you can go to step three, and step three is where you might spend 10 to 20 seconds, maybe even the whole rest of the one minute if you're having trouble, okay? Um, step three is where you come up with at least two to three good answers to the cue card. So come up with uh, two to three good answers for the cue card. Um, be original. Make sure it's easy to talk about. 
and make sure there's lots of information so you don't run out of ideas after 30 seconds and then don't know what to say or do and feel really awkward in the situation. So come up with a few different ideas. Okay, so this um, cue card again is talking about some exercise that you have thought of doing to help you uh, think better. Okay, um, so what are some exercises? What are some activities? And, and think broad here. So don't just narrow your um, thinking, but really kind of keep your mind open. Think about, I mean, we all obviously do lots of activities every single day in our lives uh, to improve our thinking. So all we have to do is just come up with a few good ideas. You don't have to wow the examiner. So the examiner doesn't have to be like, wow, I've never heard of that idea. That's absolutely amazing. That's not your goal, okay? IELTS, your goal is to get a band nine. And for that, you can pick some ideas that are common. And it's a good idea to pick an idea that's common or some kind of brain activity ac exercise that's common. So that the examiner can understand you easily. So members, um, what are these? So what are some what are some activities that we can do to help us think better? Okay? Just think of your daily life. Think of what you do and think of what activities just help you to think, okay? All right, Pooja says you could do yoga. Yeah, I agree, Pooja. I think yoga could be a, a good um, good activity. I do yoga, and I find that it helps me to think better. Sure. Okay. Uh, yoga, maybe meditation, right? If you're thinking of... Um, of yoga then perhaps meditation Rashika just said that meditation absolutely so yoga um, meditation now when um, you're thinking about meditation there's lots of different kinds of meditation right so you might want to be specific like 30 minutes of silent meditation or sitting meditation right um, what else okay so you only really need two or three in the real exam so don't overdo it but just for fun right now just to show you that there are so many different answers uh, that you could possibly think of um, for this part two cue card um, come up with a few more I'll, I'll give you a couple as well um, learning English Okay, students, I think that should be fixed now. So hopefully that will um, not happen uh, again uh, for the rest of the class. All right, let me know if, um, if anybody is still seeing some issues um, and we'll deal with it. All right, uh, so um, let's get back to it. I'm just going to uh, pin you here. All right, okay, here we go. So uh, back to the cue card. Thank you for those of you who hung in there and uh, decided to uh, stay the course. Uh, that's an important skill in IELTS as well and in your studying is don't give up at this first sign of trouble. Just hang in there, keep pushing through. Um, all right, so again, uh, step number three, um, we're looking uh, for ideas um, to uh, answer this question about um, brain exercise and so far we came up with yoga, meditation, uh, learning English and I see that uh, uh, Yadav says puzzle games. Um, yeah and if you're thinking about puzzle games uh, I would probably be more specific so I wouldn't just say generally puzzle games. Um, but I, anybody know what kinds of puzzle games? Yeah, Sudoku, for example, Amra says Sudoku. Okay, or crosswords. Okay, 
Uh, crossword puzzles are when you have words going horizontally, vertically, and they kind of make a map of uh, words, if you will, okay? Uh, Sudoku is kind of a similar idea, but with uh, numbers, um, of course. So, yeah, um, those are all, um, yeah. Joe is asking, could I say walking? Absolutely, if you can explain how walking helps you to think better, Joe, uh, you could say that. Yeah, walking can help us think better. Almost any activity that helps us to relax uh, moves the body. Uh, will help us to uh, think better, okay? Um, sports, of course, sports are a great way to help our thinking. So, uh, for example, if you're playing tennis, let's say, um, tennis can help you to think better, not only because it's physical exercise, but it's also a game of strategy, right? So sports often include strategy. Uh, playing football would be an exercise to help you think better as well, because football, uh, of course, includes physical movement. Cricket, for example, for a lot of people who love cricket around the world um, could say that as well. So don't limit yourself, okay? The cue card in IELTS Part 2 isn't meant to be like extremely challenging or impossible uh, to answer. It's meant to um, get you to speak fluently on lots of different types of topics, okay? So there's a lot of uh, potential there, all right? Okay, I'm just gonna fix the chat here. I don't want that to cause us problems, so just give me two seconds. So I had a double chat going on there. Um, Amra, I probably wouldn't say finding new and weird ways of using items um, simply because I think you're going to have difficulty talking about that clearly. Uh, even in your own language, that might cause you some problems. Um, so careful, make sure that it's easy to talk about whatever you choose to talk about, okay? All right, um, so now that we have uh, step three, we've come up with some good ideas. We want to choose one and then um, we want to um, give clear explanation. So let's go with crossword puzzles just for fun today. Okay, so uh, and then we want to take good notes. So step four is uh, take good notes. Okay. All right, um, so for this one, like I say, let's go with crossword puzzles. We haven't done that one yet. Okay, hopefully everybody is familiar with crossword puzzles. I think that's an easy one. I mean, if you've ever played a game of Scrabble, that's a crossword puzzle as well, okay? So, crossword puzzle, uh, what is it? So can you describe it, okay? And when you're thinking about describing, uh, just uh, keep it simple, all right? And in your notes, um, only, um, only put down information that you can't easily think of, okay? So describing crossword puzzles, all right? So um, thinking of vocabulary based on clues. Solve a mystery word. Link words. Okay. And hopefully you're doing your crossword puzzles in English. There's an extra added challenge. By the way, uh, doing crossword puzzles is a great way to improve your vocabulary. There are lots of crossword puzzle games, apps for your phone as well. Okay. So. The time, um, when did you start doing crossword puzzles? Okay, uh, maybe you started doing crossword puzzles in English when you started your English studies at university or in high school, okay? Let's say high school. I'm not sure if everybody's in university yet. So uh, during English class, high school, okay, uh, maybe back in 2016, I don't know. Just 
thinking about it, right? Maybe with a teacher, Mr. Smith. Okay. All right, so that is the uh, timing, right? So what's the, um, what's the reason? So why uh, did you start doing this? Improve vocabulary. Okay. Maybe good communication. Uh, problem solving skills, all right? So uh, lots of different um, reasons. Learn English, all right? So think quickly when you're taking your notes, okay? What are the requirements, all right? So what do you need, all right? Um, maybe you have some apps on your phone. Uh, maybe you buy them from newspaper stands. Shops. You can usually find crossword puzzles just about everywhere uh, you go. All right. Okay. Um, what are the... Um, let's see. What else do we need here? What are the improvements that you can make? Okay, uh, maybe you can use the new words more. All right, okay, and that's pretty much it. So step four is very fast, okay? When you're taking your notes and you know that you need to take notes on the description, the time, requirements, outcomes, improvements, um, then uh, this is fast. This is 20 minutes, or sorry, 20 seconds. Right. Um, so the outcomes, maybe you now have a vocabulary, an English vocabulary of 5,000 words. Lots of synonyms. Understand movies, the news. Okay, All right, so lots of great outcomes there. Okay, and then you have one more important step, step five, uh, which is to prepare your first sentence, okay? It's very important. I was looking at some uh, IELTS videos online the other day, and I saw that there's some really strange and useless advice um, in some videos. I was looking specifically at a video, I don't want to say which one, but it's a guy and he's a native English speaker and he's answering uh, the cue card and he starts in a really weird way talking about the moon and the stars and everything in between before he gets to his answer and that is not a good way um, to start your response. So you have to prepare your first sentence. It should be clear, direct. with no mistakes, okay? So do not do this, okay? So I don't want you to do this, uh, where you say something like, um, there are so many exercises um, to improve thinking, uh, playing sports, learning languages, um, doing puzzles, um, and if I'm really thinking about it, I think uh, the best one and the one that I would like to talk about today is doing uh, crossword uh, puzzles, okay? This is not a good start, okay? It's not good communication. I don't want to hear this. The examiner doesn't want to hear this. I want to hear about an idea or an act exercise activity that you do to improve your thinking. I don't want to hear about the moon and the stars and every activity in between. It's not the goal of this communication, okay? So clear answers, get to the point, right? It's, it's, the, it's the key phrase here, get to the point, okay? Uh, there's even an idiom that I'll teach you with this. Do not beat around the bush. Okay, it means the same thing. Get to the point, right? 
So this is not a good way to start because you're wasting time and energy when you could be using that to give more details and explanations, okay? So uh, instead, you want to come up with a clear, direct sentence, all right? So you want to say, um, an idea that I had um, back in uh, grade 11 when I started uh, learning English was to do uh, crossword puzzles at least a couple times a week. Okay, this is a much better start. So when you start like this, it's refreshing. The examiner's like, oh God, thank you. Um, this uh, student clearly isn't just saying a, B, C, D, E, F, G, but they're saying this is G because, okay? So it's much better, it's, it's direct, all right? Okay. So an idea that I had back in grade 11 when I started learning English was to do crossword puzzles at least a couple times a week. And this has really helped uh, to improve my thinking. Okay, don't forget that part. So the cue card, you really want to pay attention to this, okay? The cue card is, it's below here. Um, the cue card is talk about an exercise you have thought of doing to help you think better. Okay, so you have to include this into that first sentence. Make sure that you put that in your first sentence. It's very important, okay? Let me grab this and then we'll stick it in here, okay? Now, as soon as you've um, said your first sentence, okay, then you simply move through these. During English class, high school, 2016, Mr. Smith, okay? Uh, Rashika says, playing crossword puzzles was an exercise that I thought to start uh, to improve my thinking. Not better, Rashika. You don't need the word better because improve includes the meaning of um, uh, better. Okay. All right. Um, so here, Mr. Smith, 2016. Uh, this was uh, in September of 2016 uh, when I joined uh, Mr. Smith's uh, class. And he first introduced um, crossword puzzles as an exercise to increase uh, vocabulary. Okay, so Again, I'm just going through my notes and students, it is absolutely okay and it's a really good idea to look at your notes and look at the cue card in the one to two minutes while you're speaking, okay? That's why you have the notes. That's why you have the cue card. So many times um, I see candidates in the aisles not using their notes and their cue card. And if that's you and you know who I'm talking about, you have to change that, okay? You don't have to stare at the um, examiner the whole time, all right? That's not, that's not the idea here. So use your notes and the cue card during the speaking time. That's why it's there. So many students forget to do that and then they get stuck and they start repeating themselves and they panic. But hey, help is right there. Help is in front of you. It's the cue card. It's the it's the the notes, right? So, okay. Um, let's see. I've got the um, I've got the time. I don't really have the description yet, right? So, see this description at the beginning. Thinking of vocabulary based on clues, solving mystery words. Okay, so you can include that here. So crossword puzzles um, are basically 
um, a game where I have to find the right words based on clues uh, given and then uh, fill in boxes uh, with letters often revealing a uh, mystery phrase or uh, word. They are quite challenging uh, which really gets the gears uh, turning in my brain. Okay. Um, so here I'm also teaching you some vocabulary. Okay, students. So when you see me use phrases like uh, which really gets the gears turning in my brain, uh, obviously that's very visual language. Okay, and good band nine level speaking has that kind of visual language. So we say the gears are turning in your brain, right? So emphasizing that this is an exercise for the mind. So, um, but I love them. Love them and I feel proud uh, when I finish one. Okay. So since grade 12 or since grade 11, I have been uh, doing at least uh, one or two uh, crossword puzzles in English each week. Each week and this has greatly uh, improved both uh, my vocabulary and my uh, communication. Okay, um, I would say that now I know uh, between uh, five to uh, 10,000 words in English. Also, I can um, comfortably uh, paraphrase uh, using synonyms. And this has been really useful for IELTS as well. Okay. All right. Now you're always coming back to the cue card and you're always coming back to that topic sentence of brain exercise. Okay. All right, um, so again, look at your notes. Okay, what are the requirements? What do you need for this idea? So apps, newspaper stands, shops, right? So where do you get uh, your crossword puzzles? Uh, I haven't answered this question yet. So instead of repeating, I check my notes um, and then I continue. So these days uh, I um, solve crossword puzzles uh, using an app on my phone uh, called Crosswords Daily, but sometimes I also pick up a paper copy um, at my uh, local uh, grocery store. Okay, all right. Now, um, I've basically used most of the information on from my notes, from my thinking, and I've probably answered most of the questions on the card, but I always want to check the card before I stop talking or before the examiner stops me so that I make sure that I answer all the questions on the card. So what is the activity or the exercise? So crossword puzzles, I described it good. Uh, where did this idea come from? English class grade 11. I answered that question. Great. How can this practice help improve my thinking? Um, it uh, gets me to concentrate. Um, it forces me to come up uh, with different ideas. I've more or less answered that question as well. What do or did you need to make this idea a reality? 
Um, I needed an app. I need some uh, maybe money to buy a uh, crossword puzzle at the newspaper stand. So I've kind of answered that question as well. So I'm looking good at this point. I've basically answered all the questions. I should be able to get that band nine um, and uh, the examiner, if they haven't stopped me, I can keep going. But most likely at this point, they will stop me. They've re when they realize you've answered all the questions, then they'll stop you. Okay. All right. So let's do this together and then we're going to practice. So here we go, everyone. Okay. Um, talk about an exercise you have thought of doing to help you think better. What is the activity or the exercise? Where did this idea come from? How can this practice help you improve your thinking? What do or did you need to make this idea a reality? Your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. An idea that I had back in grade 11 when I started learning English was to do crossword puzzles at least a couple of times a week. And this has really helped to improve my thinking. Uh, this was in September of 2016 when I joined Mr. Smith's class and he first introduced crossword puzzles as an exercise to increase vocabulary. Um, crossword puzzles are basically a game where I have to find the right words based on the clues that are given and then fill in boxes with letters often revealing a mystery phrase or a word. Um, they are quite challenging, which really gets the gears turning in my brain, but I really love them and I feel proud when I finish one. Since grade 11, I have been doing at least one or two crossword puzzles in English each week, and this has greatly improved both my vocabulary and my communication. I would say that now I know between five to 10,000 words in English, um, also, I can comfortably paraphrase uh, using synonyms and this has been really useful in IELTS as well. These days I solve crossword puzzles uh, using an app on my phone called Crosswords Daily. But uh, sometimes I also pick up a paper copy at my local grocery store. I don't need a lot. Um, maybe just a few dollars if I'm buying a crossword book. Uh, the app is actually completely free. The only other requirement is time. I need um, at least uh, about two hours each week to do these crosswords. Okay, Adrian, your um, time is up. I will stop you there and now we will continue with part three. For part three, I will ask you a couple of questions uh, connected to your response and related to this topic. And then that's it, okay? So notice here at the end, I add a little bit more. I said I don't uh, need much uh, for this brain exercise, uh, just a few dollars uh, to buy um, paper copy crosswords. The app is free. And of course, uh, I need a couple of hours each week to do them. Okay, and that's it. All right, um, Rashika, I see that you're writing some answers in the chat as well. And students, this is where I want to give you a chance to try this on your own. So based on what I said, okay, you're talking about an idea, talk about what it is. So describe it, the time, when did you get this idea? Okay, um, what is needed for this idea? So how can you make the idea a reality? Um, the outcomes, the results of this idea and improvements, okay? And if I want some improvements here, if the examiner is letting me talk even more, then I could say that um, I wish I could uh, find a bit more time as I would love to do these puzzles even more. Okay, all right. That would be the improvement if you still have some time. Okay, so having said that, let's, uh, let's practice this. I hope that we have some volunteers today who want to give this a shot, okay? We've still got all these other great ideas like yoga and meditation or maybe playing a sport or a different type of puzzle um, or a game like chess, okay? All right, um, so uh, you can volunteer to speak with me and practice your part two and I will give you feedback, okay? 
Uh, it's a great way to build your confidence. So go to aehelp.com, all right? Go to your My Student account. If you don't have one, create one. Click on Student Partner Speaking. You'll see that's a blue button there. Make sure that you can use your microphone and your speaker as we are going to be speaking, okay? I strongly recommend testing it with someone. And then uh, send me a message. You'll see me as master. It's very clear in there. So um, send me a message and say, I want to try this, okay? Or I want to volunteer. So here we go. Uh, website, aehelp.com. Uh, log into your My Student account, okay? It's at the top here. If you don't have one, you can get one by joining the premium course. Click the join now or the try now, okay? So My Student account. Um, in the My Student account, uh, you have the student partner speaking that's right above my head here. Okay, so you click on that student partner speaking, accept that you are going to be polite, and then you get into this interface here. And here we have Christopher and we have Bolat, and I'm hoping that we're going to get some members in here as well. Uh, to try this, Bolat is already sending me a message. Let's see if Bolat wants to give this a try so we can get going. Okay, Bolat says I want to volunteer. Okay, Bolat, um, are you ready? You just sent me that message, so I'm guessing you are. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, Bolat, I can hear that you picked up the phone, I think, but I can't hear your audio, so I'm wondering if you have your speaker uh, enabled um, for uh, your browser. If you're using a mobile, you might need to uh, set that up beforehand. So I can't hear you right now, Bolat. Um, and uh, yeah, this is where you definitely want to try and. Uh, use this system with um, another uh, student or another person and then come back, okay? So uh, check the connection and then come back, all right? Okay. All right, Shakruk is also in here. Let's see. Shakruk says, I want to volunteer. Okay, let's try Shakruk. Are you ready? Okay. So again, uh, students, make sure that you enable your speaker. You have your audio and uh, your microphone set up properly um, on phones that can be a little bit trickier than on uh, PC sometimes. So, uh, all right. Shakruk, if you are there, let me know. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Shakruk, same kind of thing as with uh, Bolat. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I can't hear you. I can hear that you picked up, but I cannot hear you on my end. So um, you have to check to make sure that the system's working. Uh, members, also, I don't see any of you in here. So Pooja, Amra, uh, Joe, um, Try to get in here so that you can volunteer for this uh, part two speaking. Uh, yeah, Shakruf, if you can hear me, that means that your uh, speaker is working, but your microphone is not set up. I can't hear you. Um, here, let me see if I maybe something on my end. Okay, can you try to say something right now, Shakruf? I'm gonna, I just did something on my end here. Okay, uh, give me two seconds. I'm going to uh, reboot the chat server and then see if that changes. So Shakruk, try, try again in like uh, 10 seconds here, okay? 
So I'm just going to enter the administrative back in here and reboot the server. And then we'll see what happens. Just refresh the page, okay? All right. Welcome. Yeah, I definitely have audio. I just checked that. Okay. And I just rebooted the chat server. So um, try um, try connecting now. Let's see if uh, let's see if that did anything. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to maybe shift to refresh the page, and then uh, you'll be able to join in. Hopefully you can. Okay, hopefully the system's working. It should be, it's usually quite smooth. All right, we have Sheikh Yu that just joined in. Okay, there's Shakruk. All right, Shakruk, let's try, try this again, okay. Hello, Shakrook. Are you there? Joe says, I'm trying. Uh, Joe, send me a message. Um, so if uh, it's not working for you, then um, let me know what's going on. Okay, I can see Shikyu in there. Shakrook, I still can't hear you and I definitely have audio on my end. So uh, I'm gonna try somebody else to see if it's um, just for one person. Usually should work, okay. Um, let me try uh, Balat again. Balat, are you ready uh, to try again? All right, hopefully we'll get this going. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the chat. Maybe it's because it's a live class um, for members, I'm not sure. Maybe next class it'll be more. All right. Well, I'll try, try Balat again, and then if we don't have more volunteers, then I'll leave it for... Yeah, so Balat says, I'm not sure since my microphone is not working. Yeah, you got to test the system. Let's check it. Let's try it out. Hi, Balat. Yeah, definitely can't hear you. Definitely the mic's not working. Okay, well, it's good. Um, it's a good opportunity to kind of uh, check for next class um, because we have a speaking part three class coming up. So for that class, we'll have a little bit of a break between there. You can kind of test out the system with some other students as well. So uh, try to get your uh, microphone working, Balat, and then in the next class, I'll be looking for you, okay? Um, Joe, I saw that you showed up. Let's see if uh, you're able to uh, link into the system. So are you ready to give it a go? All right. Okay, Pooja just joined in as well for a moment. Okay, I wanna give you a chance, a fair chance. Hopefully Joe can see my writing. Uh -huh. Shakrook says, my Chrome notification is showing off. Can I try from the app? Um, our app does not have an interface to this uh, chat system yet, Shakrook. That was a good question. Okay, uh, Joe, let's give it a try. Yeah, sure. It's best to use this with a PC. Uh, Hi, Joe. Hi. I can definitely hear you. Are you using a computer, a PC, or a phone? I'm using a PC. Yeah, yeah. PCs are kind of the better way to go when you're doing something like this. They're just, a, they're more stable, right? You have more stable connections. Um, all right, Joe, how are you doing? It's good to hear your voice. Hi, uh, 
Hi, I'm. I'm. A little bit. Here are two two sons. Okay, where are you, Joe? What country are you calling from? I'm from Taiwan. From Taiwan. Okay, um, and um, why are you doing the IELTS exam? Because I I like to uh, communicate with my foreign friends fluently. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, if you get a good band score on the IELTS, you will definitely be able to communicate um, better. Uh, do you have an idea of when you are going to do the IELTS exam? I haven't decided. Okay. Um, do you want to try this uh, part two cue card question? Uh, sure. All right. Okay, let's do it. Um, so I'll show you the question and then I'll start you off. Um, you can use the same answer that we practice, so crossword puzzle, or if you want, you can give a completely different answer. It's up to you. Okay. All right. So um, IELTS speaking part two, talk about an exercise you have thought of doing to help you think better. Hmm. What is the activity or exercise? Where did this idea come from? How can this practice help you improve thinking? What do or did you need to make this idea a reality? Your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. I, uh, oh, sorry. It's okay, just keep going. Uh, I want to play some sports to improve my thinking, to improve my cognitive functions, because um, taking some exercise can um, improve my circulation and also it's good for my brain's function so and the idea and come from come from uh, some studies I re I read in last year showing that doing some exercise uh, such like working for just 10 minutes, 10 minutes per day um, is good for our brains and And I need some time, maybe two hours a day, <laughs> or to take some sports. Okay, your time is up. I'm going to uh, stop you there, and now we'll continue on with part three. So that was about two minutes um, and the examiner, Joe, has to stop you at two minutes. So if you answered all the questions, if you didn't answer all the questions, it doesn't matter. They'll stop you at two minutes for sure. OK, mm. um, so because then they say one to two minutes so they can even stop you at one minute. Um, mm. That was good. So you were kind of slow to get going, um, but then you, you got going and you expressed some some clear ideas. So. That would be about a band four to four point five on the IELTS exam. Okay. Uh, and the reason for it is that um, 
you're not quite fluent yet. So obviously, you know, you have to really think to get the sentence out. So you need to speak lots. That's that's what you, you should do. And I, that's great that you volunteered and you're practicing because this is exactly what you need to do. You need to practice okay. so that you're more fluent. Okay, so at the beginning you said, I, uh, sorry, don't, don't, <laughs> Don't be sorry, Joe. Okay, never, mm. never be sorry. All right. Okay. Um, I mm. wish I could speak uh, Mandarin like this, or um, you know, Thai, or you know, so or oh. another language like this. So I, I think it's great. Okay. And then you got going. Mm. I, I, you're like, okay. You realize it's not the end of the world. I'll just start, start talking. And you say, I want to play some sports to improve my thinking. Oh. That was a really good sentence. Okay, because you, you use this topic question. So remember I said you have to use that question um, and you have to answer directly. And I really loved how you did that. Like you really just directly answered the question. I want to play sp some sports to improve my thinking. And then you even paraphrased. You said to improve my cognitive functions. I love how you use that collocation, cognitive functions. That's great vocabulary. Okay, so that was a really, really good paraphrase. Um, do you read a lot, Joe? Mm, eh, no. <laughs> no. Where did you learn that word cognitive functions? Um, because uh, when I'm in college, I'm studying psychology. Mm hmm. I thought so. And my my degree learned... is in psychology, so. Mm hmm. Oh, I. <laughs> Yeah, I figured it might be something like that. Yeah, that you're learning psychology. Uh, good for you though. See, useful, right? Oh. Um, okay, and then you said, because taking some exercise can improve my circulation. Um, circulation's okay. Um, I oh. would probably say blood circulation. Ah, oh, okay? sure. Just to be, just oh. to be more specific, right? So, oh. because um, right. We don't really say taking. I, maybe the British do. In Canada, I've never heard it. Uh, doing. Because doing some oh. exercises uh, can improve my blood circulation. And also, it's good for my uh, brain function. Um, yeah. Uh, since the brain needs lots of blood and oxygen, right? Mm. Needs I lots of blood and oxygen to work optimally okay um, and then here you had a little bit of repetition you said the idea come from um, came from past tense so the idea came from uh, and then here you repeated yourself a bit came from some studies I uh, was reading last year showing that doing some exercises like walking for just 10 minutes a day is good for our brains good and then you said I made some time maybe two hours a day to uh, if you said go for a walk then uh, paraphrase that so I made some time maybe two hours a day to take a stroll okay uh, around stroll. campus and the park near my home um, take some deep breaths and get a bit of a workout going. Okay, good. So you were making, you know, you're coming up with good ideas and you're going through the steps and that was really good. So you were thinking about the requirements, right? Like what is needed for this. Now, um, the outcomes. So let's imagine you're, you know, you're going for these 10 minute walks and um, they're, they're great. What's the result? Joe, what's the result of these 10 minute walks every day? What's happened in your life? How did this improve your thinking? Uh, because 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 I improve my blood circulation and also my brain's blood circulation. Okay. Keep it simple, mm. Joe. Watch. Mm. Keep it simple. Keep it super simple. Mm. Okay. I'll show you how to mm. do this. So just keep it really simple. Since I have been doing this, um, since I have been doing this for the last year, 
I find it easier to concentrate in my classes and my grades uh, have improved. I even sleep better, right? So oh, just like really nice. simple, really simple ideas. And even if you're not using present perfect, just expressing these ideas. So repeat after me. Since I have been doing this for the last year, I find it easier to concentrate in my classes, my grades have improved, and I even sleep better. Since I have been doing this for last year, I find it easier to concentrate in my classes, and my grades have improved. I even sleep better. Perfect, right? Okay, Joe, so that's it. So basically, you're just going through the steps, right? Describe it. What is the walking? The time that it happened? You said about a year ago. Um, the reason it happened? You said because you were reading some studies about how it improves brain function. And then don't forget the outcomes, right? Like what happened or what happens when this um, is implemented. And then improvement. So how can you make this even better? How could you how could you make this even better? So this brain exercise, what could you do to improve this idea? Improve this idea? Mm -hmm. uh, like start with, uh, for example, I mean, like start with in the future. In the future, I will mm -hmm. keep keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, <laughs> well, keep on walking, right? Uh, maybe a little bit more, <laughs> right? So I will keep uh, doing regular walks or keep taking regular walks. Uh, and maybe I will even start jogging at least once a week, okay? Or go for okay. longer walks, like go for a half hour walk instead of a 10 minute walk, right? So that could be an improvement, right? As you get more high mountains. Eh, there you go. Go for a hike on the weekend, right? So, oh. um, so repeat after me. In the future, I will uh, keep uh, taking regular uh, walks and maybe I will even start jogging once a week. In the future, I will keep taking regular walks and maybe I will even start jogging at least once a week. Perfect, right? So now you've basically answered all the questions on the cue card. And as long as you do this with a little bit more fluency, you're at a band six. Okay. So, oh, okay. So that's what you have to do. And to do that, just practice lots, Joe. So use this um, this interface on the website. As you can see, it works just fine when the system is set up correctly on both ends. And find people. There's usually at least a couple people in here. Keep this window open. Even if you don't find somebody right away, just keep it open. And usually within a minute, somebody will join in and they'll be looking for a speaking partner to practice um, IELTS speaking questions. And you can find um, sample IELTS speaking questions here too. So um, see here at the top, it says IELTS speaking scripts, objects, people, places, events, ideas. So right now we're talking yeah. about an idea. So you can click on ideas. And then it brings up these questions like business idea, home rule, relationship improvement. And then you have the full um, IELTS uh, speaking interview. And you can practice this with um, another person like Bolat or Abdul or Shakrook. And people are usually really happy when somebody says, hey, let's practice. OK. OK. okay. All right, Joe, good luck with your psychology studies and I hope you have an awesome rest of your week and I can tell that you're working really hard because I know that in uh, Taiwan it's like really late right now, I think, right? Oh, uh, right. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye, Joe. Thank you for volunteering. I hope you come back and volunteer um, next time too, in the next class even, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Joe. Bye-bye. All right. That was... Joe, very soft-spoken, um, and that's how you do it, okay? All right, um, so I can see that we've got other people volunteering right now, like Abdul and Shakrook is back here. You're probably testing your system. That's fine, everybody, but I've run out of time for this class, unfortunately. I am glad that we've got, we got one example with um, Joe. 
Okay, that was really cool. So uh, again, um, the website that we just used for this is aehelp.com. So for academic IELTS, certainly join us there. Uh, for general IELTS, visit us at gieltshelp.com. And if you decide to join our premium IELTS package, use the code AUDIO9 for 20%. I also uh, see Chigazi Obi. Um, welcome. Yeah, I'm excited to have you there. You just joined our group of members. I see that. Uh, Chigazi, what a cool name. Um, Chigazi, I think is the better pronunciation. Obi. Uh, welcome. Um, it's great to have you in our um, group of members. Uh, coming up, everybody, in, uh, in Chagazi says, yes, it's Chagazi. Um, okay, Chagazi. So uh, coming up in 30 minutes, uh, speaking part three, and that will be a continuation of this speaking part two. So an exercise to help you think better. Um, speaking part three will be about improving thinking. So come back in uh, 30 minutes and um, help answer part three speaking questions, learn strategies of part three, and also practice, volunteer and practice, okay? Uh, Chi Chi, okay, Chi Chi, next class. All right, everyone, um, thank you for hanging in there. I'm Adrian, I'm signing out from Victoria for now. Much love to all of you, and I hope to see you in half an hour. Bye.